How's it going everyone? This is Channel Trainer 1030 and today I thought I would do a discussion video talking about why you should consider spoofing and this concerning Pokemon Go. The reason is because of the incident that has happened a couple days ago. So what am I doing this video? I'm going to tell you what that is, get my thoughts on it, and etc. Before I get into it, I do get to mention that I'm still doing the special giveaway if you're new to the channel and familiar with it. If my channel reaches 2,000 final subscribers, I'm going to pick one winner to receive a $25 iTunes gift card. If my channel reaches 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick one winner to receive a $50 iTunes gift card. But if my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to pick one winner to receive a free copy of his Her Toys Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. This special giveaway started a few months ago and will end this year. What's it gets that point? I'm going to count the subscriber half and pick one more to receive the highest price. More details will be in the video. Be sure to share it with your friends and family. Excuse me, have to go. They appreciate it. Alright, so now getting back to talk today's video. To start off with what incident happened. If you take a look at the screen next to me, if you take a look at the screen next to me, I got this info from Twitter. So I'll go ahead and read this to you all. Pokemon Go player murdered near... Banshee Park, a police say victim witness of robbery before being shot. This was updated at uh, 5.16 p.m. And, and I'm not going to say how the rest of that. But as you see, October 20th, 2019, which was two days ago, my time card's video. And here's what else it says here. An upper cookie, a police said a woman who witnessed a robbery was shot and killed by those robbers. This happened while the victim was playing the popular game Pokemon Go. Now, at first, I wasn't really familiar of where this Banshee Park is. So I had to go to Google here. This is the results I got. Here's the address and all kind of stuff. Why am I sharing this with you all? The reason is because, like I said earlier in this video, you might want to consider start spoofing just for your safety and not have to worry about anything else, which is one of the reasons why I spoof in Pokemon Go. Even though the loading screen does say be sure to be aware of your surroundings, but that is usually not the case. Just because it says that way doesn't mean that you're always going to be aware of your surroundings. Let me explain what it is. We live in a modern time period where most people are going to be on their phones a lot and not be aware of what's going on around them. And that could lead towards of what happened to this incident like I shared with you guys. I'm not treating Pokemon Go as a bad game or anything. I'm just telling you guys of what you can do to be safe of playing Pokemon Go. If you're not okay playing um, spoofing, there is another option and that is... Um, be sure to go out with, with a friend or someone that you know that, that you trust so that way you won't be able to go out to play the game alone. And I say that because usually bad people like to target people that are alone and all kind of stuff. If you go to like a theme park or a park that a lot of people are around, then yes, it is fine for you to play Pokemon Go. But just be careful of, of what area you play in. And I say that because, like me and my friend Dartha's case, we live in a, a town where there are a lot of crime going around, and that mostly happens at nighttime. If you're some of you still don't believe me and think Pokemon Go is always a safe game and no one has ever gotten hurt and that article is a lie, well, to answer your question, that is when you're wrong, because if you take a look at the screen next to me, here are clips here of those that have gotten hurt or have almost were threatened to, to lose their life while playing Pokemon Go. And that's pretty much all I'm going to cover for today's video. The purpose of the video is giving you ideas of what you should do to play Pokemon Go and what happened to the innocent. I told you all what you should do, I gave my thoughts on it, and etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on everything I covered here. Do you agree? Not agree? What suggestions you have of playing Pokemon Go safe? Let me know. That would be appreciated. Hope you all did enjoy today's video if you're watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give video a thumbs up, check my channel, subscribe bell for more gameplay videos, and I will see you all in the next video.